Happy October. Not only is it October, but today is Friday the 13th. So I thought, let's get in spirit and start celebrating Halloween a bit early with a scary story. A story of horrifying anthropomorphic animals and possible copyright infringement. Today we are talking about Chuck E. Cheese and their newest promotion. I don't really have any memories of going to Chuck E. Cheese as a child. I'm sure I went a few times, it just wasn't a core part of my childhood. But even so, when Five Nights at Freddy's came out in 2014, I felt that nostalgia. I felt that terror of seeing your childhood pizza place animatronics come to life and hunt you. And I, like many other people, got completely sucked in to the world of Five Nights at Freddy's. The comparisons between Freddy's and Chuck E. Cheese were obvious. In fact, it kind of helped sell the game a little bit when people would say, It's like an evil Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese did not like that, and they've since actively avoided anything to do with the franchise, even going as far as blocking accounts on Twitter for mentioning it. Now jump ahead almost 10 years later, and we are weeks away from a Five Nights at Freddy's movie releasing in theaters, and Chuck E. Cheese... Coronavirus! I'm telling you, shit is real! Not doing so hot. I guess kids these days just aren't interested in animatronic pizza places. Level 5 got Riz, Livy done rizzing up baby Gronk, Ice Spice what the dog doing. But recently people took notice of their newest promotion and realized that it seemed a bit familiar. The promotion was called Five Nights of Fun and it ran from October 9th until today when this video came out, October 13th. And it's basically just a deal for loyalty members to get different deals and prizes each day. But other than the name, it has nothing to do with FNAF. But then this is the poster and it bears a striking resemblance to another poster. Yeah. They're the same picture. So those comparisons are pretty damning, but I could probably point out a hundred other movie posters that look exactly the same. But then we have this line in the caption announcing character Mr. Munch, which says, special appearance from everyone's favorite purple guy. So... Oh. You don't know about FNAF lore? Okay, well, purple guy. Basically, William Afton, he, he had this company, Afton Robotics, and he had a partner named Henry Emily and his son, Michael, but he was stuck in the spring trap suit, so he was stuck in the building until Michael burned down Fazbear Frights in FNAF 3, and he gets burned up with everybody else. And now he's a virus who's in the computer system, but he also is a body in the basement. All that to say, He's the bad guy of Five Nights at Freddy's, and he's commonly known as Purple Guy. So people have pointed out that this line is an obvious jab towards the series. Remember how I said they didn't like the association with FNAF? Well, they still don't, because somebody released a picture of the employee instructions for the promo, and it has some interesting things on it. It says, Important note, our engagement is not a formal relationship or partnership with the movie. Our brand is naturally being woven into discussions due to the nature of the subject material. If they are going to mention us, let's give them something to talk about more than what they've been saying. And then they have a chart of things they should say versus shouldn't say. They, 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 they. Uh, hello? Hello, hello. Hello! Welcome back to your wonderful job at Chuckle Cheese. At Chuck E. Today, the informational video you're going to be watching is about our brand new Five Nights of Fun promotion. There's been a lot of talk about whether or not this is connected to that horrid Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Well, we want to make it clear to our loyal customers that it is not. So the next time a customer comes up to you and asks you, is this about Five Nights at Freddy's? Here's some examples of what to say and what not to say. Hey man, I got a bone to pick with you. Tell me what this promo is all about because it kind of seems like you're copying my favorite game. Together with the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, we're doing this promotion. We're all about fun, so we thought we'd just think of a way to have five nights of it in a row. Yeah, they wanted to combat the idea of that people think that we are like that place they have in the movie. So they did this. Oh, 
Is there a movie coming out? That's news to me. We're here celebrating five nights of fun in a row this October. Yeah, the characters look kind of similar, huh? Wait until you see them when we're closed. Whoa. Haunted characters? No way! Unless Mr. Munch doesn't get his pizza on time. Now that's scary. It's our take on Five Nights at Freddy's for Halloween. Five Nights of Fun is not related to or in partnership with any company, brand, organization, or media outlet outside of Chuck E. Cheese. Well, I hope this helped you become a little bit better of an employee. I know it helped me. Uh-oh. Sounds like Mr. Munch is getting hungry. Don't want it to get scary in here. See you at Five Nights of Fun! People naturally found this to be a little hypocritical. To crack down so hard on any association with the FNAF brand while also blatantly parodying it. I know we're talking about corporations here and not individual people, but it's just kind of not a cool thing to do. On the other end of things, however, some people are upset about the promotion because it does acknowledge some sort of association. Because FNAF is notorious for a couple things, and one of them is child murder. The other is animatronics that I'm definitely not strangely attracted to. She is such a bad bitch though! And to make it all worse, the promo ends with a sweepstakes where kids get to stay overnight at a kids-only party in a Chuck E. Cheese. Which, if you ask me, sounds like it could very much lead to the plot of Five Nights at Freddy's becoming real. And when is this party? October 27th, the day Five Nights at Freddy's releases in theaters. And there you have it. That's all the sides, and that's basically where the drama ends, is what I should be saying. But unfortunately, I am not. Some people took their opinions on Chuck E. Cheese a little too far, intentionally going to restaurants wearing FNAF costumes or FNAF merch, and purposely harassing employees. Basically, people were just leaving FNAF pictures around. Both captions reference a day where groups were planning to come back and leave pictures everywhere. Hey friends, I just want to make a quick video about um, people are trying to like start a movement to like harass Chuck E. Cheese stores and like go into them and use up all their sketchbook paper, print out pictures of the FNAF characters and stuff. Please don't do this. <laughs> it is so mean. Like you gotta realize like there's a bunch of minimum wage employees there. Like they're not gonna put up, put up with that. Like that is just, it's just like so unnecessary. Like, yeah, it's funny like, you know, with everything going on, but like you don't need to stoop that low and like create this huge movement. Like it's just like so unnecessary. And also, I should mention, I'm literally like the first person who posted this, and it blew up. So, this is coming from a former employee. I don't work for them anymore, but I still have friends who do. So, please don't do this. It is so pointless. And whatever you do, corporate's still not going to listen to you, because they're corporate. Harassing a bunch of minimum wage pizza restaurant workers because their owners are seemingly parodying something they've condemned in the past, it's not okay. These workers don't deserve that, and we all know it. And like, so what if they are parodying FNAF to get business? Plenty of companies have done way shadier things to get our business, and we keep giving it to them. People keep bringing up this idea that this is copyright infringement and is valid grounds for a lawsuit, but these same fans should know that Scott Cawthon actively encourages FNAF copies and parodies, and has for years. I don't think he has any interest in taking down Chuck E. Cheese as an establishment. One could even argue that Scott stole the original idea from Chuck E. Cheese. Basically what I'm saying is it's a pointless battle that I guarantee neither party wants to fight. And it's also just not that serious. I don't think this is something to have genuine frustrations about, especially not to a point where you're actually physically taking action. But hey, I can't control those people. Anyway, that actually brings us to the end of the Chuck E. Cheese Five Nights of Fun drama. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, which side you're on. Do you think Chuck E. Cheese copied from Five Nights at Freddy's? Do you think Five Nights at Freddy's copied from Chuck E. Cheese? Do you not care about any of this at all because none of it matters? If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. It really does help me. I have a few more spooky themed videos coming later this month, so subscribe so you don't miss those. Or if you just like watching random white guys talk about random stuff that happens on the internet. 
But then when Michael burned down Fazbear fights, bleh. but then when Michael burned down Faz, <sighs> and then his father gets summoned to the pizzeria in FNAF 6. In FNAF. Wait until you see them when they're clothed. Ah. Yeah. Kind of look like Eddie Burback. Whatever, man. 